Okay, ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, ladies and gents, might be interrupted in a minute. It will be ever so briefly, but if we are, we'll take care of it when the time comes. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we had someone order one of our packages. It was the one for the auto loan. Apparently a young lady who sent us an email, even sent us a copy of the receipt which means the person had definitely been associated with my site. After she sends us a copy of the receipt, we send her exactly what she communicated, ladies and gentlemen. Then we send her another email because we forgot to send a particular document to a group of people. We sent it to the group of people at the same time. And then the person communicates back with us for a little bit more information and we respond to them back and forth back and forth you know what i mean the person reported to their bank that they didn't approve the transaction said that it was an issue of fraud apparently they don't understand communications see they're making it look like they didn't mean to purchase it and it was an issue of fraud well they never communicated with us you know, uh, we purchased something from you, but we don't want it no more. Give us back our money. No type of communication. Just no, reported it to their bank. So what happens is the bank charges us for the fraud complaint. Then they charge us, that's $15. When another bank files a fraud complaint against our organization, $15. Then they charge us by taking and pulling the money back. They So we get a charge for that. Ladies and gentlemen, then the amount of time expended on the back and forth communication that we've already paid the staff to communicate back with this person, no problem. So I wrote the person five o'clock this morning, three o'clock this morning, for whatever I woke up and I saw the email. <laughs> Cause yeah, that's the, it's associated with my account right now until we can transfer it to the company bank account. Uh, we just opened that account. And so I just haven't had the time because I literally have been bombarded every morning, every day. I'm now using the staff to help me catch up. And I respond back to the person. I said, either this was a case of someone stealing your credit card and using your information. Or this was a case of you trying to defraud us. Trying to get a copy of the documents. See, because that's what people do. They <laughs> they contact us to get a copy of the documents. They don't realize that all we're sending out is the notices and the power of attorneys. The other documents, you guys, most of them you will never see. Because that's being done internally on the back end. That's what you're giving us power of attorney to send out in your behalf. It includes a clause in there, which is part of the agreement between the parties, that those documents are not to be shared with anyone without our permission. Because we know people are going to pay for the service and then think they're going to get everything and then they're going to try to create their own service. We're not playing that. Not this go around. Well, because of the back and forth, we're getting ready to send copies of those communications to our financial institution. I've given the person 24 hours to communicate, excuse me, 48 hours to correct this on their end with their financial institution, letting them know that nobody tried to defraud them. Told them if they do not, then we'll be reporting it to the police department in the county, in the city, and the state where they live. Remember, this is electronic fraud, so it's a felony because it was done through electronic means. See, when you pay for items through our portal, your IP address is recorded. Even if you're using a VPN, the IP address is still recorded. The person used their email and gave us their phone number to communicate with them under. Now, please tell me, how does that make any sense? And then going to say that we attempted to defraud them where they send us a copy of the receipt showing us they made the purchase through their email, which is the same email they are registered with their bank with. Follow me. Lord, have mercy. I don't understand it, everyone. I don't, I don't understand what is going on with people. 
But that's why we had to put in the security measures that we put in to prevent such things from happening. And yes, I will report the person to the police for trying to defraud our company because it's a company. It's not me. You're not defrauding me. It's the company. The people come first, the company comes second, and the members of the organization come third. I come wholly last. So it's not me. I don't take offense. I just can't figure it out. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I just had another individual call me up. He lives in a different state, and in his state, they don't have uh, deeds of trust. But ladies and gentlemen, they have deeds, and all deeds customarily say the same thing, that you promise to pay. Then I asked him about an application. He didn't understand what I meant by application. I couldn't understand that because you have to apply for the loan. So if you applied for a loan, then he says, well, it said that it was either all money, uh, whole money, or mortgage. I said, well, did he pay for the loan in all cash? He didn't understand what I meant by all cash. Wait a minute, you just read it to me. It says all cash or a mortgage. So did he pay in all cash? And he was trying to explain to me everything else. This is a consult. I told him I couldn't give him all the information that we're doing with the Save Our Homes program because I gave the program to the organization. So I couldn't give him all the information. And he finally was able to grasp what I was saying and said, no, it's a mortgage. Well, if it's a mortgage, that's an application. When you applied for that loan and they gave you the loan, doesn't matter if it was a private organization or a mutual fund or a brokerage firm, doesn't matter whom they were, as long as you had to apply for the loan, then it's the Federal Reserve Act, an application and the promissory note. Just that simple. I'm tired and it's starting to show, but I still have the energy to fight for these individuals and this law. And so that's what I'm going to give y'all. Everything I has left. With that being said, I want to thank some of you who have been getting a kick out of some of these videos. Because so have I. Sorry, I listened to, let's see, which one was it? Oh, the one with the disclaimer. Man, that was hilarious. Man, that was hilarious. Well, anyway, uh, yes, I go back and I listen to my own videos, even literally right after I do them. Why? Because, man, I like them. I'm not joking. I'm being honest with you. I understand why some of you like these stupid videos. Yeah, they are stupid, aren't they? All right. Hey, got to go. Y'all take care, okay? Goodbye.